Well, these uh, 8 by 16 benchtop lathes are probably all made in the same factory in China. They're imported by different retailers, they're painted different colors, but basically the castings and most of the uh, components are the same. They just have different labels on them. I saw your video, it's pretty good. I, uh, a couple years ago, picked up the AXA tool post to replace that four-way. I did uh, ream off about four millimeters off the bottom of that threaded insert, and it's worked quite well. I'd seen a couple videos where people have taken hex nuts or hex bolts and cut off the threads, uh, drilled them, <clears throat> and uh, threaded them to use as a uh, compression nut for the top of the tool post. But then you have to use a wrench. So what I have done is to take a uh, hex bolt <clears throat> uh, spin it down to a cylinder and then I've taken a uh, piece of metal rod I drilled a hole in the top of the cylinder and it simply uh, inserts it acts as a compression and you don't have to find the wrench all the time you want it the uh, couple of things I've done have been to replace the wheels and the uh, little cheap uh, handles with brass and steel larger handles rotating handles make a big difference when you're using it I put a little plate on the left side of the carriage that simply covers the ways when you're cutting and chipping and oil is spilling off. It makes a big difference. Uh, something else you might consider is a, uh, a digital, a DRO for the uh, tailstock. You can modify the DRO for different uh, components like the cross slide or the compound. But this thing is a little uh, digital tire gauge. They're off of eBay. I had to make a little collar for the front of the quill it's half inch plate with a compression screw in the back and this little uh, tire gauge I've uh, super glued some uh, rare earth magnets on the back and I made a little probe and then glued a super uh, super glued a little magnet to the front of it so what happens if you want to use it you simply attach it attach it uh, zero it and uh, it works quite well I mean at least as accurate as this machine is and you don't have to use those micrometer uh, measurements on the side of the wheel. And I've actually, and the best thing about this DRO is uh, you simply uh, unhook it, turn it off, and put it out of the way when you're not using it. The, uh, the rotating brass handles make a really big difference. On the cross slide, uh, it makes it more of a fluid movement, and the handles are much easier to use than those little pop metal, aluminum, uh, whatever, that come with it. The uh, wheel for the tailstock, this made a tremendous difference. Um, it's a four inch piece of uh, round stock that I cut down, added a brass handle to. And again, this makes a big difference when you're drilling or doing something, it's easier to hold on to. And the larger diameter of the wheel um, makes it a lot easier to use. The uh, knurler that I've gotten is a scissors type knurler. This compresses the stock from the top and the bottom. The knurler that comes with the uh, tool post. Uh, you have to jam it into the side of the uh, stock and that could ruin the bearings in your uh, lathe headstock. As far as the wheels, I've been using uh, different round stock I get from a metal supply yard. I simply have them cut it into a half inch uh, slice of bologna. Uh, at first I found these cast iron wheels on eBay. They're about 10 bucks, but the castings are kind of rough and sometimes they're not really concentric. I had found these uh, solid metal handles, they rotate, again on eBay, but uh, I decided to use the brass and make my own. You can get the metal stock in uh, different uh, diameters, and I uh, take a, a metal hub, I cut it for the uh, cross slide, and, and then ream out a center on the, uh, the round stock, and then make a press fit so that it stays in. And the handles that I've been doing have these little plastic cheap handles. I replaced the plastic with the brass and uh, used the center stud for the uh, in the uh, piece of steel that I've made for the wheel. But anyway, these things, you know, they're all made in the same factory in China. They're painted different colors. Uh, I've had it for about two years. It's actually worked after you clean it up and you align it. It um, actually works very well, but there are some creature comforts you can do. And uh, hope this uh, may help you or not. Take care.